Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamika. This is my channel where I keep trying to tell you my old channel intro. Don't you wanna have fun? Fool around someone. Today I'm going to be sharing Kindle Unlimited recommendations with you. These are Kindle Unlimited books that I just don't shut up about. I love Kindle Unlimited. I know you all know this. Most of the what I read is through Kindle Unlimited. And I just wanted to share some Kindle Unlimited romances that I wanted to talk about. Let's start off with a very obvious one. Let's talk about Rush by Brianna Hale, a book that I just, you know, when it comes to Brianna Hale, I never shut up about her in general. I don't shut up of her as Lilith. So I decided to go with her just as Brianna because I haven't talked about Brianna recently because Brianna hasn't had a new release. Um, so hi, my name is Tamika. I love Brianna Hale. She's one of my absolute favorite authors in the entire world. Um, she's also writing under the pen name Lil, uh, Lilith Vincent. So the, the combo is my favorite combination. Rush is one of my favorite books. It is my favorite book by her period. It is absolutely phenomenal. This is a rock star romance. It is daddy kink. It's daddy dom little girl. The little play is very light in this. It's just she likes to wear cute undies and suck her thumb. They are 100% the cutest little beans in the entire world and I want to just just hold them and squeeze them. So essentially we have a choreographer who decides she is done with the choreography business because she works with a really bad band that is just really mean to her. And then we have Rush who steps in and is like, you know what, I don't care. I want you to work with me. And he basically uh, convinces her to work with him. This has humiliation in it, degradation. It has um, a lot of trust between these two characters. They both know exactly what they want even though they've not had that type of relationship before and neither of them are afraid to give the other what they want and I really love that about these two. They are very safe with one another. They don't they, they aren't very toxic. They don't do anything that could be considered cruel to the other except for one time at the end. It is the third act breakup. I'm not going to tell you what it is but Rush does something that is pretty cruel in a way or at least um not okay within the bdsm world so this is a bdsm he is her dom and she is his submissive so it's also kind of a workplace and boss employee situation but i love this book so much i love brianna hale this book is one of her best the writing is beautiful the storytelling is beautiful the everything about this is just downright beautiful and i love love it so much. If I had to recommend any book from Brianna Hill and recommend it to almost anyone, this would probably be the one that I would go with. If you want typical Brianna, if you don't want typical Brianna, I have another recommendation. But this one, it's so good. It is on Kindle Unlimited, obviously, and I just love it. I want to talk about the Sapphic Fairy Tales collection. These are all on Kindle Unlimited, and I I don't shut up about them. These are Little Red Riding Hood. We have Cinderella, and we also have Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I'm going to tell you about my favorite one in this series, but I do recommend all of them because they're just so freaking cute, and like they're short and fast, and they're on Hoopla as well as Kindle Unlimited, and I just, I just love them so much. I, I don't know if it's because I went through a, a phase where all I wanted was sapphic romances and that's all I would read was just gay books, but these were just so fun and so sweet. These are all by Cara Malone. I love these. So we have three books in the series. I'm gonna have to look at them to tell you exactly which ones they are, but we have Seeing Red, which is Little Red Riding Hood. This one is the first book in the series. And then we have Cinders. That is the second book. It is a Cinderella retelling. Then we have Ferris, which is the Snow White retelling. The Snow White retelling is so cute because there are six brothers and one sister. So the seven dwarves are the seven the six brothers and then the one sister is the seventh dwarf that's who she has her relationship with there's the evil stepmother it is so stinking cute i absolutely love that one we have cinders which has the evil stepmother in it and she falls for the uh very prestigious uh mayor's daughter who thinks that the girl just had a cold shoulder towards her but really there was something else going on she's a firefighter and she is so cute she's a mask presenting woman and i just want to just squeeze her little cheeks because she's so cute and it is just so precious because they have a misunderstanding so they think that they that the other one doesn't like them so it's a misunderstood enemies to lovers because it's it they don't actually not like the other one they, they just think the other one doesn't like them Oh, it's so cute. We have our heroine who is trying to help the daughter of the mayor figure out who's starting all these fires in their little town. Then we have Seeing Red, which is the Little Red Riding Hood. I don't really remember 100% what this one was, but they're, I'm pretty sure it's a lumberjack. I could be wrong. This was my least favorite in the series, but 
they're just so cute and I love them and I just I just need everyone to read this series because they're just so cute another gay one because we know that I can't not talk about the gay ones we have don't tell me no this is a novella this is in Kindle Unlimited obviously that's the point of this freaking video but this one is about a guy who does something really bad to this company and then basically steals from his boss in exchange for stealing from his boss he sells his wife to her for a year and the boss the boss makes a stipulation that his wife cannot tell him no. Like she cannot tell her no. So essentially she has to do whatever the boss wants. They do give her a safe word, but essentially the premise is you can't tell me no if you don't want to do something, you have a safe word. Or if you don't want to do this, it's okay. I'll just I'll just write out your husband and we'll make we'll we'll make all this go away. I can't say much else because it's a novella, but it's like light BDSM. Oh my god, let's talk about the Never King because thank you, May. Thank you, May for forcing me and Izzy to read this because it was absolutely phenomenal. This one is a dark Peter Pan reverse harem, which I know what you're thinking, a what? Yes, dark Peter Pan reverse harem. We have our daughter, Winnie Darling, and she is the third generation of the Darling women. And on their 18th birthday, Peter Pan comes and takes one of the Darlings. He takes them on their 18th birthday and tries to get his shadow back because something has happened. So he has lost his shadow. So this is a portal fantasy and it is so, so good. We have the Lost Boys and Peter Pan and another character and that's our harem. And I just want to squeeze them because they're so so cute uh literally touch her and you die vibes like you touch her you die like it's a why choose but if anyone outside of that little group were to touch her they would die he literally ripped someone's heart out of his chest for looking at her there's two books out we get a third book in october the second book has blood play mm, i love it 10 out of 10 20 out of 10 recommend. Then the last series I want to talk about is the uh, A Ruin of Roses series. This is the one, I can't, this is not actually what the series is called, but that's the first book. So I'll put the books on the screen. But this is our Beauty and the Beast retelling. That I just, I love retellings. Have you noticed? I just have a thing for retellings because like three of these on this list are retellings. I should just do a recommendation video for retellings. Like I love them so, so much. They're one of my favorite things in romances. One of my favorite things in books in general, but we won't get into that. But this one is about a shifter kingdom. The demon king came and into this kingdom and made a deal with the original king. So now the prince and the entire kingdom is cursed. They cannot access their shifter abilities, so they can't fill their animals. The animals are suppressed. They can't shift. They can't connect with them. They cannot use any of the things within, you know, that enhance themselves. And there's a sickness killing off everyone. We have our heroine who is a common girl and she is able to help save the people. And she ends up getting taken captive by the prince because she is taking the plant she uses to heal people. Um, we end up having a lot of fun stuff in here where she is locked in the castle and she's watching people literally be like be under the spell of incubus and succubi and it is just spicy on that front. Uh, our heroine doesn't necessarily go into uh, the spicy parts with them. She only has eyes for our hero. It is 100% a a Faded Mates. In order to break this curse, he has to find his one true mate. And, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> but it's absolutely fantastic. Her animal, she can feel her. And her animal does not shut up about how she wants to be mated by the prince. And the prince's animal does not shut up about how he wants to mate her animal. So there is breeding kink in here and it is faded mates and he is an alpha hero he is absolutely aggressive he is touch her and you'll die kind of vibes and i just love them both so much this series is fantastic so those are all of the books i wanted to talk about that i just never shut up about on kindle unlimited so maybe you all get a break from me for a little while on these books but if you're still here leave me a wolf emoji down in the comments and i will see you next time bye everyone Don't you wanna have Said that they don't got a future, future like that.